hello everyone you're welcome to my channel hope you're good hope you're doing well so today we'll be learning how to draft a long skirt with a front side slit just like what you're seeing on the screen so if you want to learn how to make this it's going to be with a bit of that manipulation so we are having a skirt manipulation on it so if you want to see how to make this kindly watch this video to the end and if you are new here you are highly welcome this is gb fashion world where we learn pattern drafting free and cutting and sewing as well please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post amazing videos and to all my subscribers thanks for subscribing please like share and comment and join us on instagram at gb fashion world so guys let's get started so for us to start i have folded my pattern paper into two as you can see and i'm going to mark a starting point line at the top of my pattern paper this will serve as a starting point for me And from there, I'm going to take my hip depth line and I'm going to mark. My hip depth line is where I will input my hip line on quarter of my hip measurement. And I'm going to mark my hip nail line where I'm going to put on my nail circumference. So I'll mark my nail line and I'll also mark the length of the dry of the skirt plus my my sewing or hemming allowance so having done that from the waist or from this point which is the waistline I'm going to mark my dart of 3.5 inches and I'm going to take half inch at both sides of the dart. Half inch at both sides of the dart. And I'm also going to take one quarter of my waist measurement, which is 6.7. And I'm going to add one inch for the dart. And at my hip measurement, Please take note here, I'm going to take one quarter of my hip measurement minus one inch. My hip measurement is 36 divided by four is nine inches. Instead of mark, marking nine inches, I'm going to mark eight inches. And that one inch that is remaining, I'm going to add it to the back of the skirt pattern. So that's the skirt manipulation that we're having here. So from the new line, I'm going to subtract one inch from the eight inches that I already have, making it seven inches. So I have eight inches at the hip, hip line and I have seven inches at the new line. And I'm also going to mark seven inches at the length of the skirt here. And I'm going to be connecting all this line. So I'll just come down from the new line, from the hip line, one inch, and from there I'm going to mark a slant line from the new line, from the hip line to the new line, and from the new line to the length of the skirt, I'm going to mark a straight line. Did you see what I'm doing? So from the hip line, I'm going to see connect is just with a straight line like so. And for the waist, uh, at the side seam of the waist, I'm going to come up by half inch from the side seam. I'm going to come up by half inch. And from the center front, I'm going to come down by one inch so that this will allow our waist line to fit in because the human waist is not straight. So, 
I'm going to mark connect with a line like this and with a curve ruler if you have your hip curve or any curve ruler that you have i'm going to connect from that half inch upwards to the waist to the hip line so as you can see i'm done with that so i'm going to just mark my darts and I already added one inch for the dart. Always remember to add your one inch for your dart. It's very, very important. So I'm going to connect my dart. Just like I'm doing now. So I haven't done that. Um trying to connect my dot so from this point i'm going to mark my dot line my dot which is 3.5 and i'm going to mark it throughout the skirt and i'll make a straight line on it the dot line is going to be where our slit is going to be so at the dot line is where the slit is going to be so so that's why I marked my dart 3.5. You can decide not to use your dart, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be making use of our dart line, and that's the best way you can, the best place to put your dart. So I'm trying to use my tracing wheel to trace this pattern to the other side of the pattern paper. So I'm using my tracing wheel to trace this to the other part of the pattern paper because this pattern paper is on fold. So that's what I'm doing here. Did you see it? So having done that, I'm going to add my seam allowance or sewing allowance of one inch at a side seam and I'm going to add half inch at the waistline. So add half inch at the side seam, um, one inch at the side seam and half inch at the waistline. You can use up to 1.5 or 2 inches depending on the sewing allowance that you prefer to make use of. And as you can see, I have, I'm done adding the, that, the seam allowance to the waist and to the side. So I'll be cutting this pattern paper out and for me to cut, I'm going to fold in my dust leg before cutting it. And when I fold it, fold in my dust leg, I'm going to retrace all the lines. So I'll be cutting this out. So when I'm done cutting, this is what I have. And as you can see, you can see the waistline. Very nice. So this is what I have. So that when you sew your darts, you have a very nice uh, shape at your waistline, which will fit your waist perfectly well. So I'll be cutting out this line this that line i'll be cutting it out that's where the slit is going to be the slit is not at the center it's going to be at the side and i prefer using the that line as a guide for making my 
slipped and as you can see i'm done making cutting this out so go over to the back part so you can see it's actually very simple and for the skirt manipulation we'll be doing it here so for the back part i've added my waistline hip line knee line and the length of the skirt so what i will do remember i removed one inch from the hip line of the front so what i will do i will mark my dart line and i'll mark half inch at both sides of the dart line and i'm also going to mark one quarter of my waist measurement and i'm adding one inch for the dart so from here i'm going to add one quarter of my hip measurement which is nine inches remember in the front we marked eight inches so nine inches that one inch that i removed from the front i'm going to add it at the back here this back here is not the zipper allowance i've not added zipper allowance to this place so from there i'm going to connect to from that one inch to the waistline with a curve i'm going to connect so that one inch that i removed from the front i added to the back and as you can see i have made a curve this method will give you a perfect fit and it's usually good for people that have big um, back side it will make it to fit perfectly well so i removed one inch from the front and added added it to the back because we are covering at the back and not at the front so i have also marked my uh, connected my waistline so for the new liner i came inward by half one inch from the new line so i'm going to mark seven inches you know i marked seven inches for the front so i'm going to mark seven inches did you see what i did i came inward by one inch before marking my seven inches the reason why i did so is to eliminate excess or excesses at the back part of this skirt so this is what i did So it's actually very easy and simple to make. So I just came down again by one inch and I'll also be connecting this. So this is very easy and simple to make. Did you see that? And notes are the, so I'm still going to come in with by one inch two at the length of the skirt i mark my seven inches so i'm still going to connect like so so it's very very easy to make so you can see the shape that it gave us this is the best and the perfect way of making your skirt and as you can see at the waistline of the back i still came up with by half inch from the side seam i do not come down with by half inch please just take note of that and i've added all my necessary sewing allowance please if you're enjoying this video please give this video a big thumbs up so i'm trying to just close up this place to remark here so you can see it's very easy and i will be cutting this out i'll be cutting this out so as you can see i'm done cutting it and as you can see it have that uh shape so you'll be adding your zipper allowance now while cutting on your fabric add your zipper allowance of one inch or 1.5 inches as you desire so for this part you'll be adding 
half inch or one inch for your joining and remember you are going to leave the slit opening here probably from two to three inches above the nail is where your slit will start from so anyhow you want your slit to start from you can just do it so you'll be adding your half inch sewing allowance at both sides so thank you guys you have come to the end of this class and if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel invite your friends to also subscribe share this video with your friends and loved ones see you in my next video take care of yourself have a nice day nice weekend everything bye bye